Yes. Okay. Hey, welcome back. It's great to see everyone again. We are going to be focusing in on some algebra skills. And your math teachers this week decided that we are going to start by looking at some expressions and equations. So let me kind of go over the week on what we're going to be covering. So the first lesson today, we are going to be focusing all on vocabulary and key terms that you'll commonly see. On Tuesday, we're going to take a look at adding and subtracting expressions. On Wednesday, we're going to multiply and divide expressions. We're going to write some expressions using multiplication and division words. On Thursday and Friday, we're going to write some um, equations. So on Thursday, we're going to concentrate on adding and subtracting, writing those kind of equations. And then finally, on Friday, we're going to write some multiplication and division equations. So let's begin taking a look here at what is an expression and what is an equation. As you can see here on the screen, if you want to follow along as I read it, an algebraic expression is a mathematical sentence that consists of variables, numbers, and operations. The value of this expression can change. So here's one of the key things to remember. An expression does not contain an equal sign. And I've provided two examples there for you. N less than 20. Or you also have 20 minus n, and that's what that equals, all right? So now let's take a look at an algebraic equation. An algebraic equation is a mathematical sentence that says two things are equal. And so since they're equal, an equation does contain an equal sign. So here's an example, two more than a number equals six. Now, did you notice how I paused when I read that? And what I always tell my students is I sort of chunked my words as I read two more than a number equals six. And so when you break that down, it says n plus two equals six, because we know that when we say more than, it sounds like an addition word. So that's actually what we're going to get into next. Take a look at some common terms that you're going to see throughout this week. So I've broken these down into some addition and subtraction common terms, and I've highlighted the really, really common ones that you'll more than likely end up seeing. So for instance, sum, we know that that's the answer to an addition problem. The word plus just comes right out and tells you what to do. Total, additional, more than, increased by, those are very common addition terms in algebra. And so I've provided two examples there for you using two different terms, eight and a half more than n. Another example, the sum of 46 and a number equals 89. So you've seen the word more than and you've seen the word sum. Let's take a look at some subtraction common terms that you'll see. Minus, difference, less, fewer, decreased by, less than. So here are two examples. 14 less than a number. Okay, 14 less than a number. Pretty common term, less than. Here's another example. N decreased by 3. Decreased pretty much tells you that you're decreasing your value or your amount. Let's move on to some function and division. Some common multiplication terms that you will see is product, which we know or should know is the answer to a multiplication problem. Times, that pretty much tells you what you're going to do. A lot of times you might see two times a number. Well, two multiplied by a number. Uh, twice, okay, tripled, doubled, um, but twice is a very, very common term that you'll see, then that means to multiply by two, twice, twice as many. The word of is a very, very commonly used word that means to multiply. Um, two-thirds of six. So that means two-thirds times six. And then simply the phrase multiplied by. Multiplied by comes right out and tells you what to do. So here I have two examples. My first example says the product of a number and three. Product, the answer to a multiplication problem. And then another way to say, um, use multiplication terms is 1.2, 1 and 2 tenths, times a number equals 240. So right there are two good examples to look at. Finally, we're going to end with division common phrases. Quotient, that's the answer to a division problem. 
half of, that means to divide by two, or a third of, which I didn't highlight, but that means to divide by three. Um, split evenly. Split evenly tells you to split things, and that's like dividing. Shared equally, divided by. So two examples I've provided for you there are a number divided by five equals 4.2. Okay, divided by. Then our next uh, example uses the word quotient. The quotient of a number and seven equals 22. So we have some great examples to look at. These are great key terms that I will be, you know, revisiting throughout the week. That way we can kind of keep these in the back of our mind as we take a look at how we write expressions and equations. So thanks for tuning in and uh, let's get started on a great week of algebra.